Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today my brother's gonna be in a chase episode. I'll see you in a second. My brother is on right now. What is your father's favorite film franchise? Probably Star Wars, I would say. And what is your middle name? My middle name is Anakin, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> so he's taken the name out of Star Wars and called his son Anakin. Yeah. What do you want to do with money? Uh, I would love to travel. I have never left Australia, unfortunately. I, I love Australia, don't get me wrong, but I would love to leave Australia once. Visit countries like Iceland or Chile, like really fun places. Like yeah, that. good stuff. All right, let's get you some money to do that, Mark. One minute on the clock, $2,000 for every correct answer. Good luck, bro. Here we go. Your time starts He can't hear now. me. In Neapolitan ice cream, the brown block is commonly what flavor? Chocolate. Correct. The tagline, you know you love me, XOXO, is from TV series Gossip 1. Girl? Correct. In which decade did Melbourne's Westgate Bridge open? 1980s. 70s. The sun salutation is a sequence of postures in which health discipline? Us. Yoga. Happy is an Oscar-nominated song released by U.S. singer Pharrell Hu. Williams. Correct. The Max Planck Institute for Physics is in which German city? Um, Berlin. Munich. In September 2022, who replaced Charles as Prince of Wales? Uh, George. William. A turban is traditionally worn on what part of the body? Head. Correct. The words curiouser and curiouser are uttered by which Lewis Carroll character? Pass. Alice. In the 70s musical film Cabaret, Sally Bowles is played by Liza Hu. Kajo. Manelli. Highlight is a transparent form of which colourful stone mined in Australia? Uh, oh, cool. Mark, $8,000. Okay, I'm going to get you on the plane somewhere. Yeah, definitely. All right, here comes Super Nerd now. Hello, Super Nerd. And one's the nerdy cockles of my heart that your dad gave you the middle name Anakin after the Star Wars films. Thank goodness my father didn't name me after his favourite films. Sherlock Schultz is a bit too much alliteration for my life. There's your money on the board right now. Eight thousand dollars. Here comes your low offer. Fifteen hundred dollars. Or what about a top offer now, please, Super Nerd? Let's try forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. You want to travel? So many places you've got to see. What do you want to do? Well, as much as plane tickets are expensive, <laughs> I do think I'll just stick with eight thousand dollars. Go with the eight. Yeah. All right. Lose the fifteen hundred. Lose the forty thousand. And for eight thousand dollars, the chase is on. And Antonio Canova sculpture is psyche revived by Cupid's wand. A. Kiss. B. Arrow. C. Aftershave. Shame, I think, was a pretty easy <laughs> no. Out of Kiss and Arrow, I think Kiss just sounded the best, like Cupid's Kiss. Okay, locked in A. Correct answer is... The Arrow. Oh, my God! Kiss is right. Money moves. Chaser, locked in. <laughs> arrow! <gasps> he famously uses his arrow to get people to like him. I thought Kiss was the right Clutch. Answer, no, my brother clutched. Next question. What? Which Asian city hosted the 1998 Commonwealth um, Games? A. Tokyo. B. Kuala Tokyo. C. Beijing. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying Tokyo. What do you think? I went with Beijing. Oh, wait, B. Ah, oh, B is a good Correct one, too. Uh, oh, it's Commonwealth Games. I would have no idea. Yeah. Oh, I think it's probably that. Chase a lot, then. Oh, wait. Oh. Lucky. I think you're thinking of the That's Olympics because mm. Malaysia was the only one of those in the Commonwealth. In the Commonwealth. No, yeah. That's <laughs> right. right now. Oh, That's right. We're still good here. Next question. Which word is commonly used for behaviour which is excessively theatrical or melodramatic? A. Diachronic. B. Pentatonic. C. Histrionic. Hey. My father is. I'm reasonably confident it is C. Histrionic. Yeah, I relate. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer is. Larry's probably like, look at this tall guy. Histrionic. Chase a lot. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting Histrionic. close. Next question here. 
The prefix paleo comes from a Greek word for what? A, energetic, B, ancient, C, feline. B? A. You went with? Ancient. Correct answer is? Paleo. Yes. Moving in the right direction for sure. Chaser has locked in. Oh, he'd be all over that. Yes, Paleolithic, Paleozoic, the Paleo diet is yep. going back to the diet of old, you know. Speaking of Ross from Friends, actually, Sarah kind of like, you know, inspiring me right now. <laughs> yes, he was a paleontologist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. All right. Next question now. In which Beatles hit is the lyric, Mother Mary comes to me, A, yesterday, B, let it be, let it be. C, here comes the sun. I don't know this. It's not she, without a doubt. <laughs> Definitely not she. Neither of them have What did you lock in here? I ended up going with, I believe, yesterday. No, no, no. Okay. Locked in yesterday. Correct answer is. The music question, Marky. Uh, he's Check good. Oh, wait, it was? Uh, I don't know. You've got this, bro. Alan Partridge, the fictional TV and radio presenter created by comedian Steve Coogan, hails from which UK town? A. Oxford. B. Norwich. C. Cambridge. Uh, you locked in? Oxford. Correct answer is. <laughs> Look at them looking at each other. Chaser has locked in. <coughs> no. Okay, he's right on top of us here, and you've got to get moving. So close to Please. home. Let's get there. Question. Did you not Which know of that these words is commonly applied to a long term medical condition? A. Tannic. B. Runic. Runic. C. Chronic. Please. That's so many chronic I elements. believe it is chronic. Okay, locked in chronic. Correct answer is. Okay, yes. Right the okay. It's all about this next question. Here it is. This is it. What are the maximum overs one person can bowl in the standard one day international mm -hmm. cricket? Oh no, Mom. B twenty. C thirty. The super nerd's not good with the seeds of this. Come on. <laughs> it's what we call a nerd off. <laughs> okay. How's your cricket knowledge? Very poor, very poor. So I just went with one that sounded the most normal. Oh. 20 overs. No! Wait! Normal, I think. Locked in 20. Yeah, but the nerd might have got it wrong. $8,000 to get home. Please. Get you back to the tank. Correct answer is. Please! 10. Okay, he's got that. very uncomfortable with this question. But if he's got it right, we've got to say goodbye. No. Chaser is locked in. Please. Please. Oh! No! <laughs> you know My brother. Oh, no, I think the entire audience of Australia knows I didn't know it, but sometimes luck does come up. Oh, Mark, I'm very sorry about that. Great young guy. Thank you very much for coming and having a go. It was really nice to meet you. Have a safe trip. No. <laughs> right here on the chase. Don't go away. <laughs> no. Oh, two questions there. No. <laughs> well, guys, I guess my brother did not make any money, and unfortunately, did not get past the second round. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my brother do this. I'll see you all next time. Peace.